So here we go, trimming a bowl, setting it inside, um, just choosing one of these concentric rings and making it as centered as possible before I start this actual centering process. So I'm going to hold my thumb steady. It's a little off. Right there. So I'm going to push the form away. It's pretty darn good. Being careful not to distort the rim. So this whole process of securing the form is the scariest with the taller forms, but the lower your forms get, the more they stick closer to the wheel. First things first, I'm going to go across the bottom to make sure we got a flat surface here. Yep, it's flat. Now I'm going to go over to the right hand side get rid of some of this excess over here right from the get-go. Now these curved areas I actually find a little more advantageous to come in with the uh, flat side and in flat areas like this I find it better to come in with this rounded side. So every form is different, so it's going to call for a different foot, but you'll also find that certain forms just come very natural to you. So, um, you know, go with that and then challenge yourself. Um, there's certain forms that, that I'll make for demos that when I'm deciding uh, to make a body of work, that I'll completely divert from the forms that come very natural to me just because it's it's what I choose to do. So just just keep that in mind. I would say while you're learning how to throw, do what feels a little more natural to you. Now I'm going to come back up to the top and make a mark where I want the width of my foot to be. Now I'm just going to put pressure on the right side of my tool and extract that nice ribbon of clay there. The, the big difference in the bowl is that, that that base is curved. So we have to acknowledge that in our foot. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to leave more clay in the center and extract more mimicking that curve on the inside. So you really have to have some dexterity with your tool and be able to put pressure in different areas. Really know what you're asking your tool to do. From this point on, less pressure in the center, more pressure into this right hand corner of the tool. So I'm pushing out this way. Now I'm going to come from the top and push down. Really make sure you're you're seeing that ribbon of clay so that you you know you're you know you're doing something. So this is where we're going to hold our weight. It's kind of like the the love handles of of pottery. Now I'm going to come over to the left hand side. Push in a little more, maybe. Just trying to eke out the form. See what, what this particular form needs. But the more you get used to the forms that you make, the easier it's going to be to proceed with confidence. And, and just make sure when you're trimming that you're seeing the ribbon of clay come out of the trimming tool. If you don't see that ribbon, then you're not actually doing anything. So here's the dance, just dancing around the foot, 
a little bevel in that edge. And so you want to think about this form, about the bowl, as being a constant line with sort of a coil sitting on the top. So it's, it's important for this to continue over here. So it, you wanna you wanna you want this this depth to equal this depth over here. Okay. And again I can come in with that decorative swirl at the very end. Sometimes it's nice to just tone it down with the sponge a little bit. And compressing with my fingers or the rib. And there we are. Here's a cross section of the bowl. Uh, showing you the consistent wall thickness with the addition of the foot ring, uh, paying close attention to that consistent, that consistent curve of the bowl, which is, of course, different from the cylinder. <laughs> Thank you.